Hello friends, my name is Danielle and I'm from CFB Esquimalt. I'm here today to bring you your no repeat 25 minute workout. Today, I'm gonna to be using my 15s and my eights. Um, work with whatever you have at home. If you don't have weights, be creative, fill up book bags, grab your soup cans, grab your water bottles so you can still join in. We're gonna be doing a full body workout with cardio, conditioning, core, all of it. Combos, I love them. So make sure you put on your music and subscribe to this channel and leave me a comment and let me know how it went for you so I can make more. So you love it. Thank you so much, let's do this. Okay team, get your weights. If you have a mat, you can use it. We'll be maybe using it for a couple of movements. I'm not gonna be using it today, do whatever you want. We're gonna start with our hands on our heads and just starting with a big march. Pre-warning, we're fostering a cat and he might come into the picture. He's just down there. Trying to get him to go, but no, he wants to work out with us today. His name's Barry, also known as Mr. Pickles. Knees uh, for four, three, two, and one. Amazing, shake it out. Jumping jack, overhead press. Slide down in your knees. Nice, strong arms. Feel that tension. That's it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hands back on your ears. Squat. Nice. So think about your chest. Having your hands on your ears, it forces you to keep your chest up. We don't want this. Keep it upright. Weight is in your heels. Maybe start with your feet slightly wider than normal. Three, two, and one. Amazing. Kick, toe, touch. Couple steps. Frankenstein walk, but on the spot. So you take a couple steps. Your leg, your hand and leg do not need to touch. We're just warming up that hamstring. Flexing at your foot, breathing, woo, getting ready to bring it for this 25 minute, no repeat, for four, three, two, and one, amazing, shake it out. So we're just going to practice our hinging motion, hand is on your hips, slight bend in your knees, Push your hips back in space, chest comes forward, flat back, and up. Forward, and up. So we hinge in two movements today, so I wanna make sure that you feel comfortable with it in a body weight so your chest is proud, keeping the flat back, and your hips go back in space. Nice, feeling that hamstring for four, three, Two, and one. Amazing, let's do four walkouts and finishing our last one on the ground. Hinge forward, walk out, hold, and slowly walk back, stretch out. Three more, walk out, hold, slowly come back up, yes, two more. Walk out, your knees can be bent if you like, if those hamstrings are super tight. This time we're holding at the bottom. Hold. So spread your hands wide for your push-ups. Your fingertips are facing the front of the mat. We can draw to our knees at the warm-up. Tuck your toes under, roll your shoulders in, and then we come down. Let's do five push-ups at your own pace. Three. Four, still squeezing your glutes. And five, amazing, come to all fours. Hands are gonna be face the wide edges of your mat and just do some circles. We're just warming up our wrists. Oh yeah. Switch directions, your hands are facing outwards. Nice, breathing, three, two, and one, amazing, from here, we're just gonna flex our foot and pulse it to the sky. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Activating those glutes. Try not to need an arch, just about the glutes. 
Ready, holding it for five, four, three, two, and one. Change sides. Pulse it. Heels to the heavens. Whoop, whoop. Up, up, up. Nice. Squeeze that glute for five, four, three, two, one. Slowly come up to standing inch by inch, vertebrae by vertebrae. Big shoulder roll, super aggressive. Up, up, up. Forward. Are you ready? We're starting this workout in five, four, three, two. Let's do this. 25 minutes is on the clock. 40 seconds on, 20 second breather. First movement, we're gonna be starting with our heavier dumbbells. We're gonna do a deadlift to a squat. So your squat, your heels, your toes are slightly turned out. Your weights can be wherever you like. I'm gonna have them wrapped. So squat, and then slight bending in your knees, and then we're gonna do that deadlift that we practice in the warm up. Deadlift. Squat. Nice, I have to bring my feet in slightly for the deadlift. That's it, 40 seconds. You know the drill. I'll tell you the next move in the breather. All the way through. Do what you can, take eight extra breaks when you need to. Five, four, three, two, there you go. Oh yeah, squat, deadlift. So, deadlift is hamstrings. It's actually full body. Do we need a deadlift to a squat? That is a full body warm up, nice. Slight bend in the elbows to protect those forearms. Nice, breathing. Toes can be slightly turned out in that squat. Keep those shoulders rolled back and down. Rest. And rest, amazing. I'm gonna drop both weights. Cardio, cross hop squat, cross. Squat, cross, sumo. Knees are out, toes are turned. Five, four, let's go. Cross pop squats. So, option to stay up higher. Keeping your chest up. That's how you can go to the ground if your chest is still up and squared as much as possible. Bending at the knees. This is legs. And cardio. Woo. Amazing. Oh yeah. I'm so glad that I chose a nice warm day to keep that dorm shut. Pop squat. Five seconds. Keep going. Rest. And rest. Team. I'm going to show you with two dumbbells. If you at home only have Fives or eights, you can cross them over. Option, single arm. We're gonna do a single arm row. Rolling your shoulder back, bend knee in that lunge, and you're gonna row. Let's go. Let's go. So rowing, your elbow staying close, brushing your clothes, and then we're gonna be deep in that lunge to hit the leg. Try to keep a nice flat back. I keep my hand on my hip, and it helps keep my shoulders and hips square to the front of the room. Keep pushing. Oh yeah. When you're rowing, you can go a bit heavier. So double up those dumbbells if you can. Slow and controlled. Rest. And rest. We got a single leg deadlift. Don't take it out of those hands. Same leg is back. Single leg. Slight bend in your sporting leg. You're going to hinge down and up. Challenge here. Don't let that back foot touch the ground or tap it. Let's go. First, roll your shoulders back. So, that back leg, your toe is either pointed or flexed. Breathe. Oh, yeah. Feeling in those hamstrings after doing those deadlifts. Squeeze into 
your glute. You're doing so great. Keep it up. Beautiful. Breathing. Rocking the weights before we do the other side. Cardio movement. Broad jump forward, high knees back. Big broad jump, high knees back. Oh yeah, big jump, soft landing, bend your knees. We got seven seconds still go time. Crap, crap, crap. Let's go. So, 20 seconds. At home, if you're like, Danielle, it's way too long of a break, I want you to go harder and heavier in the working time. Broad jump, highest knees. You choose how big you jump. Make sure that landing is soft. Keep it up. Keep going, you're doing so great. Nine seconds. Rest. Rest. Other side. Cut it right there. Lunge with a row. Elbow is brushing that clothing. Getting deep in that lunge. Ready? Roll your shoulder back. Proud chest. Then lean. Opposite hand can be on your waist or out to the side. Whatever feels good for balance. You're high on that back toe. Don't forget to breathe. Pull with the elbow. Nice. Your core has to be very engaged to keep this lean going. You shouldn't feel it in that lower back. If you are, come a little bit more higher up in that lunge. Oh, yeah. Or get deeper in the lunge. Rest. And rest. Single leg deadlift. Option always. Okay. Drop your weight. You can do this deadlift. If you find that your balance is not working with the weight. <laughs> Remember, it's a teeter-totter motion. Roll your shoulder back. Oh yeah. How's your balance today? Mine feels a bit shocking. Squeeze that back leg, either flex it or point it. I want that glute working. So basically, when it comes up, you're scissoring down, working those inner and outer thighs. Oh yeah, keep it going. Beautiful. Rest. And rest, okay. We got a half burpee, option to add weights. Weights come down, plank, in, up, or plank, in, stand. Take out the truck. Weights or no weights, you choose. Burpees. Maybe I'll do one with the jump. When we're jumping and when we're squatting, roll your shoulders back, flush back, then press here to make that safe. Only coming into play. Don't dip those hips. Big, strong jump. Go as slow as you like. You got five seconds. Push. Rest. And rest. Okay. Hit the plank. Opposite knee, opposite hand. So we touch opposite knee to opposite hand. If you're crazy wild, you can touch your toes instead of your knees. Option, stay on your knees, and option to touch opposite hip, keeping those knees down. So either opposite knee, opposite hand, or toe. Do it slowly. Slower. That's the challenge, because 
We are hanging on doing a two, <laughs> two legged plank. Come on. Amazing. You're doing so great. Keep it up. Rest. And rest. Team, stand it up. I'm going for my heavier dumbbells with that bicep curl. Rolling your shoulders back and down. One bicep curl holding, other one is curling. Five seconds. Team, I am sweating. Okay, one is held, the other one is curling. See how close that elbow is to my body? That's what I want. We're gonna switch halfway. All the way down, all the way up, and change sides. Oh, that isometric cold is so mean. We're gonna keep those heavier dumbbells, so don't drop them. Six seconds, stay strong. Rest. Okay, swing to an overhead press. This is where that hinge came in once again. Weights come here, hinge forward, and then overhead press. Together. Swing, press. Swing and press, baby. Okay. Swing, the weights come back. Chest comes down with the swing. Let it flow. Let your upper body stay with the lower. Push with the hips to go forward. And then add that overhead press. Beautiful, your choice, how fast you want to go with this movement. 13 seconds, then we're hitting the deck. Rest. And rest, team. On the ground, chest press, overhead, option, Hold, hold. I'm grabbing my lighter dumbbells. So chest press in a dead bug position or you're chest pressing with your legs out. Okay, option one, dead bug. Elbows come 90 into an L shape and press. Option, legs are straight. We're looking at the ceiling. Don't let that upper body, upper, lower back arch. If you feel like it is, raise those legs. Keep breathing all the way through. You're doing so great. Two, one. Yes, another core move. I'm gonna get my heavier ones or just one heavier. Toe touches. So, feet are flexed, and we're just gonna reach and pop up to the toes. Five, four, three, two. Flex your feet. Try to get those legs straight. It's not mandatory. It's all about the exhale and up. Beautiful, keep breathing, keep working. Team, we're on 13, oh yeah. Beautiful. Rest. And rest, team, coming all the way up to standing. One squat, one squat jump. Team, option grab the weights. One squat, one squat jump. Oh, I don't know why I grabbed the 15s. Regret, just kidding. You got a challenge. I would rather do half with the challenging weight and then drop it than do all of it with the eights. See what you can do because Guess what? You might be able to do the whole thing. 
Keep that chest proud. Try to create that flat back. Make sure that lower back is not arching. Oh, yeah. Four, three, two, and one. Sumo, tricep extension. I'm going for the eight. Weights are together. Big stance. Sumo, up, tricep extension. Ready. Sumo. Option one heavier dumbbell. You can absolutely do that as well. Push out those knees in the squat. Squeeze your glutes all the way down. Your core is engaged. You're doing so great. Put all the pressure in each part of your feet. Five. Yes. And rest. Team, push-ups. Just not normal push-ups. Spider push-ups. It's a push-up with the knee drive to the elbow. Push-up, knee drive to the elbow option. You can do it from your knees. Let's go. Just like I said in the warm-up, your hands are spread, and I want you to grab, grip. There we go. Grip the ground. And exhale. Adding in the push-up. You might have to spread your hands a little bit wider than normal. Oh, yeah. Keep breathing. You got 10 seconds. Rest. And rest. Team, dumbbell, I'm going to go for the eight underneath your knee. Plank position. It is a plank with a knee drive. So, opposite leg is straight. You flex your knee. Squeeze up into a pike. And then lower the knee to the ground. Let's go. Let's go. Left side. Up. And down. So we're going to control it. Option here. No weight. Beautiful. Keep breathing. Squeeze those lower abdominals to get that butt up to the sky. Seven seconds. Rest. Oh, before the other side, we're going to give those shoulders a break. Dumbbell, I want you to get your highest one. That's the more advanced version. We're going to do a boat with a leg lift. So lean back over the dumbbell. So leg lift, leg lift, leg lift, leg lift. After you feel the motion, you're like, that's pretty easy. I want you to lift up your hands and try to hover your legs over top of the dumbbell. Palms face up, chest is proud, option. Keep your hands on the ground. Get that lean back. Get get to lean back. Get low. Get low. Everybody, everybody, get low. Keep it going. Seven seconds. Breathe. I know it's hard. Rest. Ah! Yes, I know it's hard. Guess what? I'm doing it with you. We got to stick together to make it all the way to the end. Team, other side plank. Get that dumbbell behind that knee. And then you're going to keep it in that behind that knee crease. Let's go. Plank, hike. Knee touches, lift. Guess what? It doesn't matter but which, how fast you go. However, I 100% think if you go slower, you will get to recruit way more of those abdominals. 
My lower abdominals are on fire. I could start a fire in the woods right now with these abs. Come on, let's go. Rest. Oh, to flip it over. Weights are optional. We're doing Russian twists. I'm going to grab 115, but I'm going to go super slow. If you're going to grab a lighter one, I still want you going slow. Team, roll your shoulders back, lean back, legs are on the ground. So touch and touch. I'm going to hold either side. And guess what? My upper body is twisting with the dumbbell. I want you to make contact, obviously not hurting your knuckles. Lean back. Breathing, twisting. If you want, you can lift up your legs, but challenge yourself not to cross them. Beautiful. We're standing up after this. Six seconds. Rest. And rest. Team, five minutes to go. Squat, lateral leg lift. I'm grabbing my 15s. Rack position. Squat, flex your foot, leg lift. I want you to really think about what you're engaging. Go glutes. Let's go. Squat, lift. Flex your foot hard. Lift. Oh yeah. Your body is so warm, so this squat it's challenging because my legs are feeling it. But I still want you to go low and push hard. 13 seconds. Breathe. Four, three, two. Drop the weights. Lateral high knees. What is that? High knees. Left to right. No, I'm not giving you a demo. I need a breather. Back and forth, high knees. Option marching out back and forth laterally. Oh, what? I went to say go. And I said look, a whoop with a go. High, lateral. Do about 10 and then go to the other side. Oh yeah, turn on that brain power. That mind-body connection. You're doing so great. Power up. Go. Higher. 14 seconds. Go, go, go. I can't even talk to you. Rest. Rest. Heavier dumbbell. Snatch. Spread your legs hip width and come down and lift up overhead. Option do three, then press the dumbbell down to the ground, plank position. Three snatches. If you've never done a snatch before, stay here. Bend your legs, keep the weight nice and close to your body as you bring it overhead and then slowly bring it back down safely. Option, do three, put the dumbbell down, plank position, single arm burpee. Snatch, three. Heart rate comes up in this position. Amazing. Oh, guess what, other side. The snatch, we pull up. Nice and close to the body, then it finishes up overhead. Close to your body, my palm is facing towards me with the snatch. Option to do is just a clean and press. Team, you did that burpee on the other side, I want to see it. Three snatches. Half burpee. I have my other arm up for balance. Because I'm only human and I don't want to fall over. Guess what? Two, four. That's what we're on. One move after this. Push hard. You've got ten seconds. Rest. Oh, no weights. Two plank drops. Four down climbers. We go onto our forearms. One, 
two, four bound climbers. One, two, three, four. Option, drop to your knees for the plank up downs. Go. One, two, my legs are spread wide. Four, three, two, one, down. Four, three, two, one. Try to alternate. Oh yeah. Four, three, two, one. Team, eight seconds. Don't stop now. Finish strong. Thank you, my smart watch timer. And thank you. We did it. 25 dumbbell workout, full body. Oh, we got upper, lower, cardio. I just want you to find a comfortable seat. Team, just do some circles. Let it go. Three, two, and one, put your hands behind you, open your chest up. Oh, this is what I wanted to do. Chest is proud. Option to invite a smile onto your face. We're absolutely killing it. Three, two, one, we're gonna come into a butterfly position. Legs together, feet together, knees are wide. And I just like to pull my toes towards my face. Option to lean forward. As you can see, my uh, mobility with forward folds, not on point, all good. It's about the journey, working at it. Slow and steady. Mobility, it takes a long time, but it's worth it in the end. Three, two, and one. Amazing, we're gonna do a different stretch here, 90-90. So your front leg is in a 90 degrees, and then your foot is in line with your knee and your ankle. 90 and 90, and then you're just gonna hold your hands up, twisting to your back leg. Beautiful holding. And then from here, we're just gonna twist towards that front knee, and it stretches into that quad, into that hip. Three, two, and switch sides, so you just lift up your knees and go to the other side. Up, twist to the back. You find if this is super crazy hard for you, you definitely need to work on it. That hip flexibility is so important when we're doing our squats to get that depth. Three, two, one, twist towards that front leg, releasing, pushing that hip forward. Three, two, and one. Amazing. Flip it over. Let's just release. Catch in the cow. Push your belly up. Drop it down. Up and down. Three more. Up and down. Up and down. We're going to come into a wide-legged forward fold to get into our hamstrings. Your knees can be bent and just walk it over to one side. Ah, holding on to your calf, your shin, your ankle, and slowly walking it over to the other. Beautiful. To come up to standing, come to the middle, bend your knees and slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. Let's stretch through those triceps, cross it over, move those hips. Four, three, two, and switch. Breathing. You may have seen Barry walking around, our new foster cat. Three, two, and one. And just shake it out, release, let it go. And what do we do after every workout? Ah, we strike a pose. I'm going to kick it. Bra! You rock. Happy day. Thank you so much for training with me. I am clearly so keen. 
25 minutes, we got it done. We got everything in and we did so great and you stuck with it. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, leave me a comment and I will see you next time for more workouts. Stay strong team.